Hello guys, welcome to Sheet Metric. So today we will learn about uh, how to protect or lock uh, certain cells or ranges or a sheet uh, in itself. So business use cases are uh, like that. Uh, in Google Sheets, you have you have multiple formulas like import uh, formulas, import range, import HTML, import data, query formula, filter formula. So in these formulas, only the basis of only one formula, you have uh, multiple uh, rows and columns of data can be populated, right? So, uh, in those cases, uh, usually we, we want that uh, the cell in which uh, formula for import functions or query filter formula, etc. is written. So, those are locked. So, it maintains data accuracy and data sanity across uh, business stakeholders. So, uh, uh, the protecting and locking those cells become uh, very viable in those cases. So here I have taken two examples. So first is a Google Finance function uh, where only on the basis of this uh, function, this entire data is populated here. So this is the closing of stock prices of uh, ITC uh, shares. So if you want to learn more about Google Finance video, your uh, Google Finance function, you can go through this video. Okay. So uh, here I want to lock uh, this uh, cell so that nobody can change the formula over here. Okay. So how it can be done? So there are uh, two methods to go here. So first uh, you do a right click over here and then you go to view more cell actions and then go to protect range. So it will open a box for you from uh, where you can control all, all the permissions. Another method uh, to do it is go to data, data and then go to protect seats and ranges. So again it will open the same box and from here you can control. So, so here uh, in this uh, A6 uh, this formula is written. So I am uh, setting the permission for this so that only the owner of this seat uh, uh, can change this formula. So this is the other person with whom uh, this sheet is shared with edit rights. Uh, so he should not be able to change uh, this formula. Okay. So this is the setting I have done here. Similarly, here we have import range formula. So let's do a permission setting over here as well. So add a seat, formula is in E6, set permissions. So here you can also do it, uh, show a warning when editing this range. So what happens here? Here uh, the person who is editor on this uh, sheet, he should be able to edit the formula here, but he will be uh, shown a dialog box uh, of warning that you should not edit it. So uh, I am setting this permission in the sale uh, E6 and then we will show how does it look like. So now I am, uh, uh, so, so th this is uh, what you are seeing is uh, the owner of the seat. Now I am going to the account uh, where uh, it is, uh, the sheet is as an editor. Okay. So here be completely uh, A6, uh, be completely locked uh, the, the A6 uh, uh, sheet. Okay, so here I have in A6 only view only rights. Uh, so, uh, so I should not be able to change it. So, here the dialog box is showing you are trying to edit. A, uh, please contact the spreadsheet owner. Okay. However, here we had uh, uh, set the permission uh, like that. Ki anyone can edit, but uh, there should be a warning. So I am, uh, let's say I am trying to, uh, this range is K11, I am trying to change it to, let's say K8. So here the the warning message is, uh, you are trying to edit part of the sheet uh, that shouldn't be changed accidentally, okay? So I can do it edit anyway, or I can restrict myself uh, here. So since I have done the editing, uh, the result uh, has been changed accordingly. So, uh, so this is about uh, editing, uh, editing a sale, guys. Uh, sorry, setting permission on a sale. Now let's go to setting permission on a range. 
So here I have taken a business use case uh, like this is the product details and here uh, this product uh, like laptop or smartphone, tablet, uh, t-shirt, running shoes, etc. So, so there are three uh, stores uh, where uh, the inventory or a stock of uh, these uh, products are maintained. So ideally uh, the person, a stock in charge at a store A or a store owner uh, should uh, update this data on a regular basis and he should be the owner of this. Right. Similarly, at a store B, uh, the person responsible at a store B should update uh, this uh, stock data on a daily basis. However, this total inventory is uh, sum of uh, a stocks at a store A plus B plus C. So, so ideally, uh, I should set a permission over here uh, that uh, nobody should be able to edit it anyway. And uh, for a store A, I should uh, set a permission. Uh, to only to the uh, a store owner of uh, a store A. So I go to data, then go to protect seat and ranges, and then we can uh, set the permissions. Okay. So similarly, uh, like uh, then there is a price and discount percentage. Uh, so ideally, uh, this should have uh, control only from uh, the sales team. So we can give uh, rights of, of changing column H uh, uh, and column I. Uh, so sales price and ranges only to salesperson. And we can see how uh, we can do the permission setting for this. Now let's go to protecting a sheet, uh, the entire sheet. Okay, so I I want to protect uh, this import seat completely uh, uh, so that n uh, nobody is able to make any changes accidentally or willfully. So so I I I, I did a right click over import and then uh, if I will go to protect sheet, it will open the same dialog box which is opened on right side. Okay, if you want, uh, you can put a description also. Currently, I am not giving it uh, the right uh, of this sheet to anyone except the owner. So you can see a uh, uh, lock uh, symbol has uh, come over here and if we go to the other account, then if I try to do uh, any entry that is not at all happening. Okay. However, I should be able to make any changes here, but not here because this entire sheet is locked. Okay, so now let's go who can set all these permissions. So sheet owner will always have all the permission rights. Okay, so sheet owner can always set the permission uh, like this, uh, uh, like he can lock and he can also give the edit right, etc on those uh, uh, locked sales or ranges to anyone. However, if uh, this sheet is shared with a person uh, who is an editor on this sheet, he can also do all these uh, things uh, like uh, who, uh, he can give extra permissions uh, and uh, but he can't take away the permission for the sheet from the sheet owner. Sheet owner will always have all the rights. Okay. Similarly, if the sheet is sh uh, shared uh, to its uh, viewer and people who can only comment, then uh, these people will uh, not be able to do any ch any changes or setting permissions on the sheet. So uh, if you guys are liking our content, then please uh, do consider subscribing because this will help uh, this video and our channel to reach to the right audience and please uh, share this video with the right beneficiary. So thank you guys. Thank you for uh, staying tuned with uh, Sheetmetric. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day.